Welcome to clickmyproject.com Our product title is Improved Design of Sliding Mode Controllers based on the requirements of MPPT techniques. Let us see about abstract of our product. In this proposed implementation is based on grid connector DC to DC switching converter that is usually connected between the PV modules and the inverter. These PV converters are controlled by improved designing procedure of sliding mode controller which drives the PV voltage to follow a reference provided by an external maximum power point tracking algorithm and that the perturbations caused by a irradiance changes and oscillations in the bulk voltage by considering that the switching surface is the linear combinations of the input capacitor current and the PV voltage error. The proposed design exhibits advantages in comparison with existing solutions that relay in the linearization of inner current loop dynamics. The proposed integral procedure by taking also into account the effects in the closed loop system dynamics of a reference filter ensures a stable sliding region in all the desired operating range of the system while the settling time and overshoot of the PV voltage recorded by an MBPT algorithm are provided differentially from a previous system similar but less rigorous approach the switching function and reference filter parameters are obtained by numerically solving a set of nonlinear equations. Next we see about flow diagram of our product. In this proposed design control structure commonly used to regulate the PV voltage to follow the reference given by the maximum power point tracking algorithm. This is the our flow diagram. Initially the PV array is connected to DC to DC converter and also that output of PV voltage and current is fed into MBPT algorithm. That algorithm may be a PNO or incremental or else. In this proposed implementation we using PNO algorithm and after that the output of the MBPT algorithm is fed into sliding mode controller and also uh, in the output of DC to DC converter is fed into sliding mode controller and that comparator is compare the reference and actual values then that error signal will be goes to the PWM generator then that pulses will be generated to DC to DC converter after that the output of the boosted converter voltage is fed into inverter in that inverter is used to convert the DC to AC voltage and AC output voltage is fed into inverter control. In that inverter control one comparator is used one PID controller and also one PWM generator is used. Is used to generate the pulses for each switches is connected in the inverter circuit. After that the AC voltage is fed into the power grid. The overall process is running in this manner and also it is both the perturbation and propagated from the load and those generated by changes on the environmental condition. The PID controller is designed using in a linear model of the PV system and around a specific operating point. In the PV module having 76 cells and each cell is generating the so electrical energy depends on the solar irradiance. Uh, in normally the solar radiance value is 1000 watt meter square. Next we see about running process of our product. In this proposed implementation is done in MATLAB environment in the version of 2013 a first open the matlab window and create a new model file after creating that we arranging the elements as per the circuit diagram after arranging the elements we click the run symbol the output waveform will be shown in the corresponding scopes is connected in the circuit diagram first one is the iv characteristics is getting from the solar panel the iv characteristics is drawn between the solar current and solar voltage and next one is the PV characteristics this PV characteristics is drawn between the photovoltaic power and voltage is getting from the photovoltaic panel and next one is the voltage current as well as power output in the solar panel and next one 
the pulses waveform the pulse is given to the DC to DC converter here the DC to DC converter is used to convert the DC voltage into boosted DC voltage after that this is the output DC current and next one is the output DC voltage that range is 85 volt after that that converter DC voltage is fed into the inverter section in the inverter section that DC is converted into three phase AC here six switches is used that switches is controlled by the uh, X resistor is controller output and next one is the output of three phase inverter current and next one is the three phase output voltage is waveform is a per phase voltage waveform and next one is the space vector pulse width modulation is getting from the controller output and next one is the three phase output current waveform that range is minus 0.4 to 0.4 and next one is the three phase voltages that voltage is 80 to minus 80 so here the inverter output voltage is not purely sine waveform uh, is related to sine waveform is shown in the uh, staircase format so the overall inverter output will be improved and harmonics will be reduced thank you for watching this video